Yo guys, how's it going? We're here for another episode of our Paris career mode on FIFA 18 where we start today's episode off with a little bit of a training session there as we come into our first game of today's episode trying to get a, under a bit of better form being as we've been losing quite a lot of games recently trying to get back under form like what we was at the beginning of the season and hopefully trying to start it in this game is like I say in the last episode we played really badly in the second game the first game we played well but the second game just wasn't good enough being as we got moved up in the points and then went back down again was just not good enough for the fact that we went started that episode in sixth went up to third and then dropped down to seventh i believe as we start today's uh, game off first game off with an is coming on an attack here trying to play the ball round in the middle of the pitch passing the ball round as it comes to Maya who gives it Alame who passes it back inside but it gets cut off but it does still come into the box and sent Luis at the other post puts it into the back of the net to make it 1-0 and we're finally actually getting into the goals again starting it off early trying to push on in this game really giving it our all at this point soon as we came into the game we were looking to score goals and St. Luis just did just that in this at the beginning of this game he has easily been our star player this season him or Pierre Alleg has been uh Pierre Alleg I should say is um has been our star players this season by far but we do have another attack here from a free kick but the ball gets cleared out for a corner and like I say, 17, uh, 19 appearances there. He's not scored many goals in them, 19 appearances. But it's the stuff he does off the ball as well that he does really well. And as you see, we get the corner whipped in here. Maya puts the ball just wide from a brilliant volley. It was a very nice volley. I think if he'd turn the other way instead of turning outside towards the outside of the goal, if he turned inside towards the inside of the goal, then I think it might have worked and it might have went in the back of the net. But he turned the other way and it didn't quite pay off. But we do have another attack here trying to show our dominance and really giving it our all in this game. Like I said from the beginning. And Maya comes through. He turns his man. And I don't know what happened here. It was like a bit of a showman. I don't know what he did there. But he got a throw on goal and he took a shot. That would have been a fantastic goal if it went in the back of the net. I don't know how he kept the ball when he came up against the second defender right next to the goal. But he did. He got the shot off. But unluckily it does get turned behind for a corner. Which we do go ahead and take. And it's San Luis that whips it in. It gets crossed into the middle of the park, uh, into the middle of the box. But unluckily it gets headed just wide of the post. It like As we see another clip of San Luis's little bit of footwork there. But... The keeper got very lucky to get his foot on that there. But we do have another corner. And Maya again on the edge of the post. And he gets turned in at the back post from Delaney there. To make it 2-0. And honestly I was so happy when that went in the back of the net there. It was a brilliant finish from Delaney. And very happy that it went in. Honestly it was, a, it was quite a lucky goal being as the keeper didn't quite turn it away how we should have. But luckily for us, Delaney was there to put it in and turn it in to make sure that the goal did just go in. And it was 2-0. And honestly, this was just the start to the game that we wanted. And I couldn't have hoped for much better at this point. We was absolutely dominating him going forward. As you see, that was his second goal of the, um, of the season. And we was looking like the much more dominant side in this game against Stadremis. As we go forward again on the ball, trying to find that space as P uh, Pierre Allier just puts the ball past the post. A nice one-two with Maya there. But unluckily, it didn't quite pay off and it goes just wide of the post. And it couldn't quite turn it in to make it 3-0. It was so close to going in as well. But unluckily, it didn't. And the score remains at 2-0. But we do come on the attack again in the 45th minute, just before half-time. And Stad Luis again down that side. Passes the ball through to Mayo, who gives it back inside, and Stad Luis puts the ball in the back of the net to make it 3 0 now. Honestly, this guy is an absolute G. I love him. He is so good. 
going forward and like I say with his running on the ball it's absolutely amazing how good he is especially for this team I'd be very surprised if he didn't leave at some point if we don't get promoted because he deserves to be in a lot better team than what our team is playing like at the moment well clearly not in this game but like in the other games he has played so much better he's levels above everyone in this game at the at this point uh, like this season he's been level above everyone apart from Pierre Elieg like I've said but coming into the second half they do get a corner as you see a quick glimpse of what uh, Dylan St. Luis has done in this game so far three shots on target two goals which is unbelievable really none of his shots being off target at this point and two of them going in the back of the net is brilliant but come into their corner, they whip the ball into the front post and no one's there to mark it and it gets turned in and Delo, oh I can't stand him in goal, he's horrible. He cannot save a potato getting put into the back of the net because it's just flying into the back of the net over the top of him. It was a very nice cross and I don't know what the defender was doing at the front post, let him get goal side of him and it gets put into the back of the net. I was hoping that the last guy got a touch on it. Because then it would have been, I don't think it would have been counted offside. It was a nice run anyway. But Sabish puts the ball into the back of the net and makes it 3-1. It doesn't cancel out our win. It's looking like a bit of a, a nothing goal at this point. But they do come forward on the attack again and try and split the defence, which they do. It just that here with that beautiful pass and it gets put into the back of the net to make it 3-2. Uh, is it going to be one of them days again? Because honestly, dude, I don't know why, but the defence has just let up in this second half. Nothing that I was doing was right in the second half. They were just absolutely demolishing me. Like we were doing in the first half, we were demolishing them. And they were doing the exact same thing to us at this point. Where they curled the ball around and honestly, Delo should have done a hell of a lot better there. It was right next to him pretty much and he couldn't get his hand on it or his face because his face was closer. But it does get put into the back of the net to make it 3-2. And after being 3-0 up at half time and in the second half now being 3-2 and then coming on the, another attack here. And oh, what is this? It's shambolic defending <laughs> and it goes in the back of the net to make it 3 apiece. Ah... Uh. Uh, I can't explain how devastated I was and pissed off I was when that went in the back of the net. Honestly, 3 0 up at half time, and the defence was just so shambolic at this point. They just lose the ball so many times, and it goes in the back of the net. It was a very nice finish, I'll give him that. It comes off the bar and goes into the back of the net. There was no way Dilo was saving that one. But. Oh, I, I, he shouldn't have even had the chance. And it makes it three apiece in this game. And honestly, when you think we're eight minutes into this episode and this is only the first match. And honestly, the amount of t times I was just... Uh, that second half was absolutely shambolic. I thought, oh, we're 3-0 up. We're going to have a brilliant game here. And we're going to absolutely kill them. And then they come out in the second half and absolutely demolishes and tears a new one at this point. And it makes it three apiece. And there was a little uh, a chance at the, the end for them, but I couldn't quite show it. It wasn't that much of a chance. But they did have a chance that could have made it 4-3, uh, but they didn't luckily score it. I would have absolutely cried if it had gone in the back of the net at that point. But we do go into this. We do try and move on in the second match here, coming into the second game in today's episode and the final game, of course. As you see, we're down now in fifth, fourth, fifth place at this point. And honestly, I just after that game in the last game, we deserve to be down, very far down the table. If we can slip up that much, we deserve to be in the bottom half of the table because if we don't deserve to be in the uh, in league uh, if we um, if we're giving up chances like that because we'll get demolished in that league. Absolutely t tore apart if that's how we play. But 
hopefully trying to move on in this game as they come forward on the first attack of the game and never would you ever guess what happened. They get the lead and it is 1-0 and the team clearly hadn't moved on from the last game at this point. They were still stuck in their ways of conceding the goal there to make it 1-0 to them. And honestly, it's it's that pass every time that we can see the goal. It seems to be from one one of those kind of passes where they literally pass it through the, between the two centre backs, and it goes in the back of the net. And I do not know what I've got to do to stop it. I haven't a clue what I've got to do to stop it at this point. I've tried so many things, whether I've tried moving the defence in closer together or move them on further out, but they seem to split the defence every time. And that does make it 1-0 as they come on another attack here and find some great space down the wing. But the cut inside, he takes a shot and it goes luckily wide of the post for us. Because he deserved, that, that should have been a goal. I don't know how he sliced that shot so badly. He was in acres of space and he should have put it in the back of the net. But luckily he doesn't and it is still 1-0. We actually have a chance as we see here. We come on the attack. Trying to get that space and trying to work something into this game. As we cross the ball into St. Luis, he couldn't quite get there. Maya heads it back out and it's a great shot, but the keeper saves it very well there. That deserved to go in the back of the net. It was a very nice shot there, but the keeper is equal to it. It was a very nice save, it was a very nice shot to go along with it. it does get turned out for a corner, but as you see, nothing actually comes from that. As we come in again to try and get ourselves back into this game try and put a bit of pressure on the opposition here coming forward on the ball trying to make that space as Maya picks it down the wing he crosses the ball in with a wonderful cross San Luis gets it onto the post from a head off but there he is Pierre Lieg again saving our bacon to make it one apiece honestly when this goal had gone in after I'd missed the first header with San Luis I thought oh no here we go but Saint Lu uh, Pierre Lieg had different ideas here and runs onto the ball, carries on his run and gets the ball into the back of the net to make it one apiece. The keeper done, should have done a hell of a lot better. He should have picked the ball up after the ball had hit the post. But luckily for us, he didn't. And Mathieu Pierre Lieg saves the game to make it one apiece. Honestly, we should have been doing better. But as you can see, this is how bad our season is going at this point, where we're happy to get draws out of games. That just proves how bad we are playing. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and peace.